All right, welcome back um, to our customization series for Dokkan. Um, basically, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to edit this page, um, how to hide different aspects of the um, dashboard widgets, okay? So basically, I'm going to show you how to either hide or display any of these widgets on your dashboard. Um, it's basically very straightforward um, if you right click on your screen your computer and click on inspect <coughs> excuse me if I click on inspect I would get this console um, Chrome console tool okay and basically if I click on this select element selector here and select any aspect of the page so basically i want let's say i want to select this sales this month aspect of the widgets okay so i i can just select it like this and it will highlight the styles for this particular section or this particular aspect of the page now if i um so there are a couple of classes and but basically if i come here and i click here to add a new class um, to add a new property, CSS property, I can say something like display, so and I can set it to now. Watch what happens. This is sales this month, right? So I'm going to set it to none, and as you can see, sales this month is out of the picture. So basically, I'm going to show you how to um how to hide various widgets on the dashboard page. Essentially, I'm going to show you how to hide. All the widgets on the dashboard page so basically um, what you need to do is you need to come to the um, back end of your website and um, let's see come to appearance and click on customize so basically we're just gonna add some custom CSS to the back end of our website okay and um, all right so now we're at the back end of our website you want to scroll down on this left um, sidebar and you want to click on advanced CSS so um, we've added some styles prior to this um, video so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a comment and say in this comment I'll say hide hide um, let's say some widgets on the dashboard okay I'll say on the vendor dashboard All right, and just below it, I'm going to add some styles. Okay, so essentially, um, I'm going to hide all the styles here, but the first one, which is sales, that displays um, how much the vendor has actually sold and how much um, the vendor has earned. So I'm going to hide every other aspect of the page. Okay, so let me just close this console. Okay, so I'm going to hide everything on the page except this first widget. So um, this is how you do it. I'm, I'm going to open up my code editor and this is the code I you know, wrote out to hide all of the aspects of the page on the widgets. So I'm just going to copy this and let me paste it in. So I'll paste it in my additional CSS section and then I'm going to publish. Now what happens is that if I go back to my dashboard, so I'm logged in in an incognito tab for my dashboard, and I refresh the page, as you can see, all I have is just the first um, widget, okay, that shows the sales and the earning for this particular vendor. So basically, that's how you can choose to um, hide the various widgets on your dashboard. The dashboard is actually quite busy. So you may not want to, um, you know, display everything. Now, I know I, I simply copied and I pasted all the code, but essentially you can go ahead and do it one by one to see which affects which. But then it, I think it's actually self-explanatory. So essentially there's a graph widget, there's a product widget, reviews, orders, and the last one for announcement. Okay, so essentially that's how you hide... Um, you know the widgets on the dashboard welcome page so um this is a single video um for local customization 
if you look in the description you will see that i have a link to show you um, customizations for every aspect of the Dokkan dashboard okay so you can actually tailor the Dokkan dashboard to exactly what you want um, so thank you so much for watching this video um, make sure you subscribe to my channel see you in another one